Hi, I'm Denise from www.dental.blogspot.com and uh, I'm happy to be one of the instructors of the new Soul Food Project in 2015. Uh, I've been asked to answer a few questions by way of introducing myself, so that's what I'm going to do in this video. Uh, at the moment I'm still living in Queensland, Australia, but at the end of October 2014 I will be moving back to my home country, Belgium. Um, all will probably already be there by the time you see this video. Um, so that also means that my mother language is Dutch, not English. So I hope you can understand my English. Okay, I'll start first question. Okay, it's hard to tell where my ideas come from exactly. Uh, I get inspired by so many things. Um, it can be as simple as seeing uh, a shadow on the ground or seeing drops on a shower curtain and my mind starts going in all directions and thinking about what I can do with it, giving me ideas. Um, yeah, it's a bit... Uh, it, it seems to come... they seem to come from everywhere and, and uh, anywhere and all the time, anytime. So uh, I have noticed that some of my best ideas come at night. Um, especially when I'm stuck at something, don't know how to proceed. It's almost as if it needs to sit in my head for a while and then at night it starts cooking and broiling and in the end, uh, in the morning, it's ready to be served and I have an idea about how to proceed. It's not always as easy as that, but when it happens, it's really nice. Um, when you ask me what nourishes my soul most, it's color. Uh, I'm a real color junkie. I get, I'm so happy when I'm surrounded by bright, bold, happy colors. It just makes me feel good. Okay, that would be keep going and don't give up. Never give up. Uh, just keep practicing, keep doing what you like, keep having fun um, with it and um, yeah, just experiment, push yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone and, and just keep going at it. Don't, don't think that you're not good enough or that you can never be as good as who knows. Um, when you start comparing yourself to others, it's a real killer of creativity. Uh, so don't do that. There will always be someone who is better than you or more talented than you or more creative than you. But who cares? As long as you do what you like to do and you keep doing it and you keep having fun and you keep challenging yourself and experimenting, you will get better and better. So don't start thinking, I'm not good enough. Don't start thinking, I will never be as good as that person. Um, don't be afraid to ruin anything. Just keep going, keep experimenting and don't give up. Uh, I started painting in 2004, but it's only since about two years that I started calling myself an artist. Um, I, um, I always felt as if I couldn't be a real artist because I didn't have any formal art education. It was more like as if I was playing at being an artist. But then two years ago I did an online workshop with Flora Bowley and that really changed my way of painting and also uh, the way I see myself as an artist. Um, I really felt as if I had found my style, the, the way of painting that suited me, that suited my personality the most. Um, and I was able to express my feelings onto a canvas without even having to try hard. Which doesn't mean that it is always easy. I struggle uh, a lot. Uh, I, I, uh, I get stuck a lot. So it's not as if it's always easy. But I know now that it's inside and that I can bring it out if I keep going uh, at it long enough. So um, that has made me much more confident in my art because I feel as if my art is now much more my own. It comes from deep inside of me. And, and yeah, it is... It is something that I own now and that, that's also what gives me the feeling of being an artist. And uh, of course I like it when other people like my art, uh, who wouldn't? But um, I don't need it to feel as an artist. I, I would still feel like an artist if nobody in the whole world liked my art. And I would still need to keep expressing myself that way because it's now a way that I've found of expressing myself and it's almost, it helps me deal with the world and with my feelings. It's almost like a kind of therapy. So I just need to keep doing it. And yes, that's just what makes me feel like an artist.
Uh, yeah, that's an easy question. Uh, people often tell me that my style is very distinct, even though I do so many different uh, things. Uh, there seems to be a common ground in all of it. And I think uh, the most distinct feature of my work is color. Um, I don't always use color. I also like to make black and white doodles, for example. But uh, when I use color, it's really the bright, bold, happy colors. I'm not afraid of using colors. I just throw it all on my canvas. If one combination doesn't work, I try another one. So for me, it's really like having a party with colors. A um, second thing that's typical for my art is that I always uh, uh, paint or draw people and usually also birds. Um, I can appreciate abstract art, but I wouldn't be able to do it myself. It doesn't interest me enough. Um, I just love uh, making a figure come alive, uh, seeing the different stages it goes through uh, and how it, how it transforms into its own person, with its own character, its own emotions, its own feelings. It's almost like giving birth to the, to the figures on my canvas. Uh, they just appear and they grow and, and I don't I just have to bring it out. It's yeah, it's really something that that fascinates me. Also how you can uh, change the expression on a face with just a few brush strokes. Uh, it's, I'm really fascinated by that process and I just want to keep uh, experimenting with it and keep getting better and better in it. Uh, and I also uh, love to paint birds. And not realistic birds, but brightly colored birds that always seem to interact with the humans on my painting. Um, I don't like realistic art. I, I, uh, I need to bring some kind of fantasy element in there, so I create a kind of dream world. Uh, something that's, that's not obvious at first sight, something weird, something that makes you look twice. Uh, so that's what I really like to do. Uh, and a third uh, thing that's typical for my art is the use of quotes and poetry. Uh, I love quotes and poetry. I've been collecting it since I was a teenager, so I have lots and lots of it. And uh, I love to combine it with my art, uh, images of my art, and then make it into postcards, for example, or uh, use it on my painted rocks. Um, because with my art, I also like to bring some positive message into the world. Um, a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of uh, comfort, um, a little bit of light and brightness. And uh, using those quotes, uh, uplifting quotes, uh, inspirational quotes, in combination with my art, uh, makes me able to do that. So that's, what, that's another thing that's really typical of my art. Um, oh, that's a really difficult question for me because yeah, my interest sphere is so wide. Uh, there are so many things that, that I like or that I would like to try out. But yeah, well, the time, time is limited. Uh, a day has only so many hours, so I'm, I have to choose. And uh, the next thing I would like to experiment a little bit more with is fabric. Uh, painting my own fabric, um, printing my designs on fabric and then make all kinds of things out of it. Um, I love to uh, bring art into everyday life. Um, like I can get really uh, happy when I can drink my coffee out of a cup that has some art on it or when I can put my pencils in a pencil case that's made from some artful fabric. Uh, it's a really simple way of bringing creativity and color into your everyday life and make it much more interesting, in my eyes anyway. Um, so with uh, that fabric I would like to make yeah, uh, like little purses, little bags, zipper bags, uh, pencil cases. Um, and I, I have done a workshop on, on making zipper bags, uh, so I have been experimenting a little bit with it already. Uh, and so that's what I want to do next when I have a little bit of time. Okay, that were all the questions answered. Um, I hope I didn't bore you with too many details. I hope I didn't talk too fast. <laughs> because once I start going, I know it's hard for me to stop. Um, at the end of this video, I'll show you some pictures of paintings uh, uh, of mine. Because at the moment I don't have much here. Uh, I am the featured artist in the local gallery here and almost all of my work is over there. But I do have some things that I can show you for those of you that don't know my art. I have been um, painting some rocks uh, in the last few weeks. I really love painting rocks. It's one of my all-time favorites. 
Uh, and these are two uh, rocks that I made in the last weeks. Uh, this is one that a friend of mine really liked. She saw it on my website uh, and she really liked it, but I had sold it already. So I made a new one for her. And since I never make only one, I always work at more things at the same time. I made this one too, uh, with a quote, of course, in the back. Um, and, oops. and this is a small one. Uh, I made some really small ones um, lately uh, to give as a giveaway present to some friends of mine here in Australia because I'm leaving Australia. And this, for some reason, I really like this one, so I decided to keep it for myself. Um, with a quote on the back, keep going no matter what. Something that I sometimes need to remind myself of. Um, I also have some boxes here that were sold by... Uh, sold to people in Belgium, so they're going to Belgium with me. Uh, so that's with a magnetic closure, you can put all kinds of things in there. And I used uh, dots uh, as a decoration. I really like uh, dot paintings. And that's in fact the only abstract art that I've ever made, dot paintings. I really like that as a decoration too. And this is another box that was bought by someone in Belgium. Uh, it's one of my doodle boxes, as I call them. I can put all kinds of things in there, uh, tea bags, uh, jewelry, uh, keys, all kinds of small things, uh, loom bands. <laughs> uh, so it's really uh, another way of bringing art into your everyday life and make your everyday life a, bit, a little bit more colorful. Um, this is a small painting, very small intuitive painting. Uh, so I start uh, with color on there and I just keep putting layers on there until I see some figures emerge and then I just need to bring them out. Uh, these are two mini paintings as I call them. Um, I uh, sell these in my Etsy shop uh, so that's why I have them here. I don't sell them in the gallery. And I really like the size of these. It's, it's easy to do in between. Uh, they don't take much time to finish and uh, I always have some of these laying on my work desk to work on uh, in between. And then the last thing I can show you is um, a painting that I'm working on at the moment. Well, it's been a few weeks already since I, <laughs> I worked on it because I don't have time anymore. I need to pack now and uh, I don't have time for art anymore. So, uh, but it'll get finished when I'm back in Belgium. So uh, that are some of the, uh, some of, yeah, a few examples of my work and I'll show you some more in the video. Um, thank you very much for watching and for staying with me until now. And uh, I really hope to see you in Soul Food in 2015. Bye!